Hello, Cheetah fans, and welcome to yet another invigorating episode of Cheetah Chase. In this month's show, we visit a rugby clinic at Willem Borsma Primary to teach the youngsters some of the basics. We honor our loyal Sweden season ticket holders at the Toyota Stadium. Sparta Beef hosts a fun filled fundraiser in aid of a good cause in Makwat. The Toyota Cheetahs pose for photos alongside their fans to raise funds for the Sunflower House in Bloemfontein. And Abongili, Ali, and Jock answer our quick fire questions. Wow. In order to grow the love for all things rugby, the Toyota Cheetahs Academy recently hosted a rugby clinic for various grade ones at Willem Borsma Primary to teach the stars of tomorrow a thing or two about this game we love so much. Toyota Cheetah fans, it's time to create new Toyota Cheetah fans. We're fortunate today to spend time at primary school Willem Posma in Bloemfontein. Free State Schools have a day out for all the primary schools in Bloemfontein where some matches will take place. But before the matches start, let's get the little ones a clinic by our Cheetah Academy players. It's important to grow the Cheetah family from a very small age. So we're looking forward to seeing the youngsters in developing their skills firstly, but secondly, become real Cheetah supporters in future. Ons is hier saam met die Toyota Cheetahs en so ook die Academie om vandag saam daankie vol Bloemfontein skole kliniek te hou en een paar eisterkies vir die toekomst te identificeer. We are here at uh, Willem Postma Primary doing some uh, skill drills with the, with the grade ones, the under sevens. It's just a, a few skill drills we do at, uh, at the Cheetah Academy uh, each week. We have two, two sessions per week uh, where we do a few of this, these drills. Serious now. Die eerste jaar wat ons het nou so doen, en uh, dis eindelijk te dank aan jylle van die Vrystaat Cheetahs, wat ons nou kom help om bykie die kleinkies, al die graad die eindkies, bykie meer touwwijs te maak, en dis altyd vir die manne lekker om hulle helde van aangezicht tot aangezicht te ontmoet, en ek hoop en glo rechtig waar dat ons hiermee kan, kan voortgaan en kan voortbou ons connectie wat ons het met die Cheetahs, om ons kleinkies te kan help en hulle, geinteresseerd te kry in rugby en belangstelling te kan prikkel, dat hulle sien, dit is, dit is eindelijk baie lekker. Voor en toos ons by die kruivenweek en by die nationale toernooie kom, is dit belangrijk dat ons nou al moet begin talent identificeer. Free State Rugby recently welcomed local sponsors, media partners and long-serving sweet and seasoned ticket holders to the Toyota Stadium to thank them for their loyal support over the past few years and decades. This evening we have invited the media as well as our sweet holders and our seasoned ticket holders that have been supporting us for over 10 years. And we just would like to give them recognition and just tell them that we really, really genuinely appreciate their support. We also just want to emphasize to the media that we're not having an overlap this season for our Curry Cup. So we, will, we stand a good chance in winning the Curry Cup and doing well this season in our Curry Cup. Well, uh, tonight we've got all our loyal street holders. I think it's very much important for us just to say thanks for being loyal to us, for supporting Cheetahs. Through them, we are able at least to generate some income to make sure that we can keep the company going and can make sure that the teams continue to perform. So it's just a night to say to them, guys, thank you for your loyalty, thank you for your support, and we really appreciate and acknowledge what you're doing for the Cheetahs. Apart from the uh, broadcasting income, television income, and sponsors, apart from those two big uh, income streams, Sweet dollars is a very big and important uh, source of income for, for the Cheetahs. So they're very important. Season tickets as well. And there's been a decline over time in all the sweeters in South Africa and season tickets. So we try to restart it again and build from there a bit better support base. But you know, there's something in life to say recognition is a very wonderful motivational principle. Tonight we recognize those who have been with us for 30 years, 25 years and 20 years. It's incredible. It's a wonderful so we focus on our sweet holders, season ticket holders, to rebuild the foundation and basis of free state rugby here in Bloemfontein. Prior to the 2019 edition of the Toyota Warrior Race, the Toyota Cheetahs joined the academy side at Marcel Spoort as they were allowed to have a go on the rigorous course before the main event commenced. 
Welcome, Cheetah fans, to Muscle Sport. Today we're here to compete in the Warrior Race. Uh, the guys are looking very excited. Uh, they're very competitive as well. Everyone wants to come first. And it's going to be a bit wet as well because we're going to be involved in the swimming, a bit of the running, and some of the coaches are going to be cycling as well. It's going to be a very good day. We had an opportunity to run through the race course of the Warrior Race that will uh, happen tomorrow. And we th thought that it might be a really good idea for the players just to take part and uh, do it as a bit of a team builder. Some good uh, mental and physical challenges uh, that uh, lies ahead for them. Yeah, obviously this, this comes with strength, so um, I think the backs will take it. I think there's, we've got a bit, um, the forwards a bit fat, so I don't think they're going to make it. I just heard here from Oli, uh, Ali that uh, the forwards are a bit too fat, but I think we're going to surprise them today. Uh, I think we're going to win it. First of all, I just want to congratulate the boys that just uh, did the obstacle, quite a challenging obstacle. Fat has got nothing to do with this. Speed, nothing. Core strength, yes. Uh, gymming, yes. And we did it. And with that rivalry settled, it was time to take on the grueling course. Coach Isak van der Westeisen, though, had other ideas. Hey, yes, Yeah, the challenge was tough, but then you can enjoy it while you're still going forward. Yeah, you may look easy, but then it's tough out there. Uh, the challenge was a bit moeilijk geweest, hoor. For all that, what you by water put up, it was a bit deep geweest, but I get it out. And I was well one of the youngest in the group. I was dance now to 18. So yeah, that was lekker geweest. Ach, nee, it was baba lekker. We had so, zeker so net over the four kilometers hard club with so a few obstacles. Als we zo een keer wat ons moest bieke lekker ver afgespring het, dan is het ook een paar meter. Dat is wel lekker. Ik ken niet samen gaan, dus het lijkt me elkaar gedruk. Maar als het gaan voor wen, maar op je einde toe, zit mijn voeten niet in die touw vast en toe. Ja, dan komen ze aan die eerste nie. Ja, hierdie route was bitter lekker geweest. Ik denk dat het een goede spandouw poging geweest is. En het was lekker om die baan bieke uit te toets. Ik is dood zeker die mens wat morgen warrior reis gaan doen, gaan een lekker dag hee. Ik hoop dat ik krijg nie soek besering soos jy nie. Wat het daar gebeur? Nee, ik heb op een splinterkie, maar als het nou voor dokter Jordani gaat, dat het met de mens uitgehaald het. Nou, um, Niel, sê my bykie, hoe was hy drie meter afsprong vir jou geweest? Nee, bitter lekker. Um, ek hou nog ons van soeke hoogtegoeders en goeders met bykie bloed laat reis. Um, maar ek denk die hoogtepunt van die dag was nog steeds om een klein operatie op, op Justin uit te voer. Verstaan, dus ek ontspan was maar daas met mekaar, dier dik en dun. Ja, man. So. <laughs> So today the Cheetahs came out to come and have a, like a pre-run on the Warrior Race course here in uh, Mosselsport. This is the second edition of the 2019 series and uh, looks like they really had a jewel. Some of them are really dirty, someone lost a shoe and it just seemed like they had a really good time. And it's actually really cool to see them uh, come out and come and enjoy the course and just uh, be part of the vibe. I um, always love traveling around and I must say Bloom has one of the, the best vibes we have of the whole South Africa. So kudos to them for coming out and um, I'm going to have a hard day tomorrow in the office so I'm going to take it much more serious. But yeah, just thanks for, for coming out, showing face and being part of the OCR community. I think it was a, a very tough course. I think it's the, the closest to maybe one of our training sessions with all the ups and downs and carrying things. And so I think it was a very good session for the players. Um, I think they did very, very well. 
a couple of guys that surprised me, especially Futter. He was running ahead for most of the most of the course. I think the mud monster might have grabbed him. I think that's where he started to struggle. But I think it's a very, very nice course, and I think the guys properly enjoyed it. Race In order to muster support for the home stretch of the Guinness Pro 14 Championship, the Toyota Cheetahs visited the Fichard Park Sports Day alongside associate sponsor Twizza to hand out tickets and smiles. We are here at the Fichard Park Sports Day. We are with the Toyota Cheetahs in association with Twizza. We've got um, a Twizza activation here where we've got the Cheetah players helping us. Uh, we've got some nice prizes for the kids. Yeah, we're just promoting Twizza here in Bloemfontein. We are a co-sponsor of Fichard Park. We're selling all our, our products here. We've got Twizza water, ice cold Twizza soft drink, and we've even got our, our Crickly Dairy, which is from Eastern Cape, being promoted here today. So yeah, we're just ha in interacting with the kids and just having some fun with everyone. This is a Fichard Park sport day. It's a lekker warm day. Like so, bar bar mense. Ek, um, so ons beindruk bar mense is. En nie ach, die sport lyk goed, die so paar manne wat goeie vader gereed, ek het so bykie rondkijk en so ek sê, is een of twee lekker koostalikies, dat ek een skolie gaan bykie gaan kroei na. Maar ja, ach, het is uh, een erg lekker dag en ons bly toos as die som. Het lyk dat die mense het geniet. So. Ik heb een ambitie challenge voor Daniel Martens met de doelcompetitie bij de Tuaza Staliki. Wat zeg je daarvan? Ik zeg, ik zit een sixpack Tuaza al. Challenge accepted ook. Ach kom maar, Daniel. Ik heb een ambitie challenge voor Daniel Martens met de Tuaza Staliki. Wat zeg je daarvan? Keeping with the theme of rallying support, the Toyota Cheetahs visited the local establishment Kaila K Car Wash in Botsabelo to meet and greet some fans and to hand out tickets for the upcoming home games. Take it away, Opa. So today, some of the players decided to come and visit Kaila K. Uh, it's a local uh, restaurant uh, car wash in, in Bloemfontein. And uh, what we're basically going to do is give our people tickets. So it's going to be exciting and I can't wait to give out tickets. So uh, we are out here today and our first person we're going to speak to is uh, Benolia. Benolia, uh, so what are you doing here? I'm just here celebrating my birthday today. And uh, well, happy birthday in that case. Thank you. Uh, and other questions, are you going to come to the game tomorrow? Yes, I'm definitely coming. I have a ticket already. Oh, she's got a ticket already. So I think in that case, I'm going to give her two more or three more tickets and uh, enjoy the game, okay? Manuela, how's, how's today been? Um, today has been like a great experience, I won't lie. As much as I'm with my cheetah's friend here and the other boys there, I'm also proud to say that I'm, I'm yeah, I'm a cheetah's fan, even though I'm wearing my boots. Uh, so, what team do you guys support? Do you guys actually watch rugby? Yeah, we do. Yes, that's beautiful. See, she watches rugby, she supports. <laughs> this weekend, what are your plans for the weekend? Just chill out with the girls and maybe go see the rugby. Oh, great. In that case, then I've got five tickets for you guys. Um, I hope you guys, I really, really hope you guys enjoy the game. Uh, how do you feel about the free state cheaters being here today? I think it's good. Uh, it's nice to come and interact with the community, uh, try to get more supporters to the stadium, especially now that we're on a winning role uh, to show the fans that we've been working hard uh, and want to make the, the city of Bloemfontein very proud. And uh, so the final question is, are you coming to the game this weekend? Definitely. I will be there. Like, definitely I'm going to be there. Um, hopefully this time I'll be wearing my cheetah's um, um, gear. Yeah, most dev. Because he's my boy and I'm supporting my boy. Okay, great. Over to you, Alma. I'm joking. Okay, I'm done. Wow. Associate sponsor Sparta Beef recently invited the Toyota Cheetahs to join hands with them in raising funds for Mama Sophia's Pathway Center in Makwart. We caught up with Neil Jordan as he explained what the day entailed. We in Makwart today supporting the, the Sparta Day. It's a fun day they've organized to support the Mama Sophia Pathway Charity. And currently we're at the golf course that's in pristine condition. And it's nice to see all the effort Sparta has put in to support the, the foundation. And it's good to see all the people coming out, having a good time. We've got lovely weather, smiling faces everywhere. And yeah, we're gonna take you through the day, show you all the activities. And yeah, it's going to be a fun one. 
So what's nice about the, the Sparta Day is it's got an activity for, for each individual, uh, for the golfers, the more outdoorsy fishermen, and then for the extremists who like horse riding. We've got polo this afternoon. They've got a lot of activities to take part in, and yeah, it's gonna be a nice, fun day. We are here for Sparta Bay, thank you for this wonderful day. I am here for us to be part of Sparta to be and to be able to get the best in the world to deliver. And yes, we thank you for that. It's a beautiful sponsored Sparta Charity Golf Day. I am enjoying every moment. Yes, as you see, today we are the Sparta Dam for the Mama Sofia's Fonds and Samelings Day wat hier Sparta aan mekaar gesit is en gereel is. En um, ja, het is lekker om te zien wat hulle vir die gemeenskap doen en, en teruggeen wiekie. Ek denk het is een bitter lekker gesins georiënteerde dag die klomp jong kinderkies wat in die vlak water speel en die opgewondenheid is hulle vis gehak het en die ouders wat bykie onder die kiesiebo sit en ek hou vir vers en kiefat so. Ek denk het is een baie oulike initiatief en hoed af vir hulle vir die moeite wat hulle gedoen het. As jy steek terugkijk na die kinders, hoe die kinders het geniet en alles, Weet, ons probeer het maar familie event maak en so aan. En uh, ja, as jy kyk na die kinders het geniet en die groot mense geniet het net so. Jy moet sien hoe hard loop hulle as een vistom as jy hulle buit kry. So ja, nee, dit gaan maar daar hoor. Ja, yeah, vir oogend, 8 uur al het ons die 5 kilometer gedra en ek het 40 gekom. En nou is ons hier by die lekker vis vang, water is lekker en die naag gaan ons bykie puila gaan kyk. Today we're having our Sparta Charity Fundraising Day. It's an annual fundraising day that we have for our school that we started for children with mental disabilities and as well as physical disabilities and the school is in Marquarta. It's very important for us as Sparta to be part of the community in which we operate. Everyone who works at Sparta is part of this community and we feel that we should definitely do our part for the community in which we operate. Following the successful fundraiser, we decided to pay a visit to Mama Sofia's in order to see the wonderful work they do for the local community and to meet Faiza and her dedicated staff of caregivers. Mama Sofia started off as a daycare in Mumaneng for children with disabilities. The Sparta became aware of this honorable initiative and they took an interest in the project. So Sparta helped us uh, to secure these premises and they provided us with the funding and support to start up a school for the children that were in the daycare. Then the school opened its doors in April 2015 to children and young adults living with a range of disabilities. So what we do here is that we have four classrooms uh, to cater for the range of their disabilities. And we have a program that is designed by myself for uh, the children so that we can meet their individual needs and help them for maximum growth. We have a range of 17 to 21 kids and the teachers, uh, we have eight teachers. The learners that we have, the disabilities range from cerebral palsy to autism, learning disabilities, hearing disabilities and partial blindness. We have a workshop that uh, provides sustainable income for the school and it provides job opportunity training for the learners. So in the workshop, what we do is we convert recycled materials into items that can be sold. We make seasonable items such as Christmas goodies that can be sold, as well as gifts that can be sold into the community. I feel so blessed to be on this journey at Mama Sophia's, but none of this would have been possible without Sparta. They give us endless love, outstanding support, and encouragement always. And we would like to thank them for always being there for us. And none of this would have been possible without them. Thank you. In an effort to raise funds for the Sunflower House in Bloemfontein, the Toyota Cheetahs welcomed eager fans to the Toyota Stadium to pose for a photo alongside their favorite players and to enjoy the day with the team. We're at the Toyota Cheetah Stadium having a photo shoot with the players to assist Sunflower House in their fundraising for their foundation. 
Sunflower House is one of the charities that we support. So we help them in any way possible. The players' wives and girlfriends, it's their initiative. So we support them with all our players having special PR events and just to raise funds for them to assist them. So there's a great relationship between the Cheetahs and the Sunflower House and uh, we go back about two, three years that we try to raise money for them and help them um, yeah, in any way we can to get some funds. There's a very special relationship between Sunflower Children's Hospice and the Toyota Cheetahs. They really do a lot of projects for us and they keep us going and they help us to maintain the house so that we can care for the children of the house. The funds that we raise today will be used for a lot of expenses that Sunflower Children's Hospice have because it is an inpatient unit, that means it's open for 24 hours. We need a lot of uh, care, so it means that there must be 24 hour care for our children and the expenses are also salaries, uh, transport, uh, food, the maintenance of the house, the maintenance of the vehicle and all the special needs that our children need that we have to buy for the children. There's been a great reaction from the fans and the public out in Bluefontein. Um, we've been to schools and, and people also come to come to the stadium for, for photos and just raising some funds for um, Sunflower House. And we've given out some signatures and it's been a great event meeting people and getting to people and people coming to, to for the great uh, project. I'm very excited to be here. I always come to the functions and stuff if they have something and it's nice to meet everybody and see everybody every time, uh, all my heroes. I am very excited to be here to meet my cheetah players. I am very excited to be here to meet my heroes. My favorite player is Opa. My favorite player is Opa Mooji because I'm also a loose for it. I don't have a, a favorite player. I love the whole team and all of them are very good players and um, I support them all as a team, not as individuals. I am going to hang the picture on my wall. I want to hang my picture in the room so I can see it every day. So we're extremely happy with the turnout today. And um, yeah, from this, from next year on, we can just go bigger and bigger. In the future, we can definitely see these events happening more, taking place in the city, um, getting to people, and, and also trying to raise funds for, for different charities. And But this one specifically just being for Sunflower House, and um, it's been a great effect for, for them, and we will definitely do that in the future again. Um, just to raise some more funds for them, it would be great. This in initiative between Sunflower House and the Toyota Cheetahs means a lot to us and it's a big support for us and that the Toyota Cheetahs are so involved in Sunflower House and I hope it will continue like this. In a brand new monthly segment, we really get to know the men in orange as the squad gathered at the Toyota Stadium for a round of quick fire questions. First up for this episode, we have Abungile, Ali, and Jock. Fire away! Pizza or sushi? Sushi. Home cooked food. Mm, house. Home. I would say anything with an instrument, like 80s music. Uh, local hip hop. Uh, every Marvel movie. Uh, equalizer. Um, ten of these. The Queen. Grey's Anatomy. Um, the Queen. Uh, definitely Ben Affleck. Denzel Washington. Um, Chuck Norris. I would say Tapi Omafura. Uh, Coach Don. Aranos. Uh, no. Definitely yes. No, but I can make wood out of two pieces of fire. Uh, Murrayfield. Toyota Stadium. I would say uh, Murrayfield in Scotland. Definitely dogs. Uh, dogs. Um, dogs. Wine. Beer. And um, beer. Steak. Chops. Steak. Batman. Definitely Batman. Superman. Sindhu. Baba. Lou on the brain. Sindhu, my Jesus. There's no worst room, I tell you. Jinga. I think it's Oxford Nos. Welcome, Young. 
Aranos again. No, no. No. No, not me. My mother. Family. My wife and my family. That's all for this month. For more information on all things Cheetah, log on to our brand new website at www.fscheetah.co.za or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for all the latest happenings, photos and uploads. So until next month, keep supporting and as always... Ah, freestyle! Ah. Cheetah, 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 cheetah